Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and thanks so much for returning to my channel because I have kind of a controversial video and it is on face shaving and the various ways you can do it. And you may wonder why you would want to do it. Well, I have done it with an actual straight razor for 30 plus years. And I think, number one, that it exfoliates your skin and really helps reduce wrinkles. And number two, it gets rid of that dreaded peach fuzz. None of us want to look like old lady peaches, that's absolutely for sure. And before I get into that, I did want to show you the outfit and jewelry that I'm wearing today. I particularly like these bracelets. In fact, they come in a package of five and they're plastic and they're very durable. And I really like them because sometimes you'll buy gold tone jewelry and it will get all corroded looking over time or it will lose its luster. But with this being plastic, I think it's going to have a nice long life, which is just wonderful. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll consider subscribing. It's totally free. And when you click that little bell that just sends you email notification of all of my future anti-aging videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great. And real quickly, I know you guys are probably wondering about these wings. I had a viewer say, Beth, you need some eyeshadow wings. And I had a hard time doing them, but I found a great little kit. And this is from Ciate and it has a little wing stamp and then it has the eyeliner that goes with it. If you'd like to see a video about this, let me know. I think I'm still on the learning curve. This is maybe the third day I've done this. I'm still making a few mistakes. Maybe it's a little heavy, but let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see a video on that. Okay, let's get into this and I will tell you, if you are not shaving your face in some way, you really should be. I was out with actually a couple of different friends over the last week or so, and I won't name who it is because of course they would be embarrassed, but I noticed that in both cases they had horrible amounts of peach fuzz and young people just don't have that. I don't know why, but as we get older, we grow more facial hair. It's called vellus hairs and they're very downy looking and you can't necessarily see them from a distance, but up close and personal, when you mix the peach fuzz with the wrinkles that we get as we get older, it is just not a very good look. And so in this video, I will show you how to totally avoid that. And let me start again by sharing what I do. And that is that I use a wonderful men's razor and have for many years. This is the Gillette Mach 3 men's razor. It's very durable. I've had this one for probably two years. These are actually the little heads and I just replaced my head sometimes I'm not as good at getting to that as I need to and basically what I do is that in the shower in the morning I'll go ahead and wet my skin put face wash all over my face go ahead and scruffle it with the wash rag and then I'll just go in and very easily and gently shave my face and I also do across the upper lip and then across here and I have been going down on my neck too because my neck is getting a lot of wrinkles. And I know that this exfoliates the skin, so I'm hoping if I do it on my neck, it might exfoliate some of those wrinkles, who knows? But if you use a razor like this, or if you shave your face with any of the other implements I will be telling you about, please share the information and your experience with all of us because that just helps each other. Now, before I get into the other items you can use to shave your face, I'm going to link a video below from Dr. Dre, who's that great dermatologist on YouTube, and she agrees with me. And that is that it does not matter how you exfoliate the hair on your face, it's not going to grow back darker. Now, the vellus peach type downy fur that you get it won't grow back darker at all. But some people think the witch hairs, as I call them, I've got a few on my chin and a few up above my lip. Some people think, oh, well that makes the hair coarse and dark. Well, any kind of shaving, removing the hair above the skin is not going to do anything to the way that hair grows. What you may be seeing when you feel a little bit of stubble is that every time you use a razor on those thicker hairs, it does kind of chop them off. So when they grow out, you can feel them a little more, but I have never had a problem with that at all. And I actually shave my face every single day in the shower. So there's no time for anything to grow out. And I think it really makes my skin look smooth and exfoliated. Okay, and I've been holding this and this is the little Tinkle razor. And this is what most ladies feel more comfortable using. And you can order these on Amazon. They're very inexpensive. You start with a clean, dry face and you just pull your skin. And then you're just going to go against the direction of the hair 
all over your face and this offers a little bit of exfoliation not as much as my Gillette Mach 3 I'm sure but it does give you a bit of exfoliation and it definitely does get rid of the peach fuzz which is just wonderful now if you're a gadget girl and I'm definitely a gadget girl I truly love these what are they called they're called flawless facial razors and here it is it, it has a little head on it like that it's battery operated it's one AA battery but you turn it on and then you can just go and very gently get all of the peach fuzz off of your face this really does an excellent job you can also use this under the eyebrows but I wouldn't necessarily do that because it's very easy to whack off your tail because this little head is kind of large if you'd like a smaller head though this is again a flawless product and it is again battery operated and this one is good because you can also use it to get those little downy hairs out from under your eyebrows that works beautifully and I've noticed that I have not been paying attention to the grooming of my eyebrows very much and so I've really been using this and I like it and another thing this does is it gets those horrible hairs out of your nose and that is something I don't tend to notice usually until I'm out in a car even the peach fuzz is the same way if I've missed shaving for a few days I'll look in that rearview mirror and I'll see these nose hairs growing and this peach fuzz growing all over my face it is no fun but if you keep the little tools you need the tools that you choose to defuzz you'll never really have that problem now you may wonder about waxing which is another option for hair removal or also something like Nair which is a chemical depilatory and I have used both of those in the past and I really hate them I use tretinoin and when you use tretinoin also known by the brand name retin-a it basically makes your skin very sensitive and if you're for instance using warm wax on your mustache there you're actually pulling off the top few layers of skin and if you use a retinoid or retinol product like retin-a you could really do damage to your skin I don't like that and the same is true for Nair or those chemical depilatories they are very harsh on your skin and if you use any form of aggressive skincare which I totally recommend that you do at over 50 as I am then I definitely would not be putting those harsh chemicals on your skin and I will say if you're nervous about shaving and you don't want to do what I do which is just use a little bit of facial wash on damp skin you can also just get a shaving foam here this one is the pure silk shave cream coconut and oat flour I don't know why that's important but it smells good and you can just use a tiny bit of this before you shave your face with any of those implements except I would not use this with the flawless products because that would just gum up those heads and you really don't want that okay thank you for being with me on this face shaving video and please share your experience if you're also a face shaver share the tool you use and how it works for you in the comments section we would all love to read that and I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and this one is a very practical one and it is a thought for the day that I have been using for about the past two weeks and I absolutely love this it has made a huge difference in how my bathroom and my kitchen look in my home and basically what the idea is is that you never leave a bathroom or your kitchen without drying out the sink and that sounds like a pretty silly thing because every few days you're going to dry out your sink anyway but one thing I have noticed is that it is easy for me to let my kitchen and or bathroom get a little bit messy but when I always remember to take a little dry towel or washcloth and I have them hanging under both my kitchen sink and my bathroom sink when I go ahead and take that little washcloth maybe get it damp and go over the vanity top and the sink I leave the bathroom and or kitchen in good shape and quite honestly ever since I've been wiping out the water drops that are left it also causes me to take just a few moments to look around and make sure everything else in the kitchen or the bathroom looks good too so anyway that is my little practical cleaning tip of the day and if you have any of those that you would like to share with all of our 50 plus beauty viewers then I hope you'll add your tip your good housekeeping tip in the comment section below the video because that way you're sharing it with everyone here and we can help each other which is just wonderful take care and I'll see you in my next video Thank you.